Matthew 18, 18. Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Amen. Amen. He gave us the key. But this key, you use them with revelation. Because if you don't have the revelation of what to bind or what to lose, you'll be binding everything. You understand? Revelation is always needed in the spiritual realm. If not, it's like you take AK-47, you kill everybody before finding out that you just need to kill one person in the spirit, of course. So the keys are the revelation of what you need to do to obtain total deliverance. We all need revelation. And the Bible said to us is where there's no vision, people perish. That is Proverbs 29, 18. Where there's no vision, where you cannot see what is happening, sometimes you perish. We have to seek that revelation. I explained the last time when I was teaching, ask, seek, and knock. The seeking is the part where you seek for revelation. You need to look what is going on in this family, why the things are happening a certain way. So this is why you find Christians sometimes still suffering from affliction. They may perish because they lack revelation of what is happening in the family. And the power of the enemy is your ignorance. The power of the enemy is your ignorance. If you stay ignorant, you will not know what to do. So the weapon of our warfare, we know that are not carnal, but mighty. The weapon are spiritual, and walk in our life. They are walking in our life. We want to look at unresolved un un issues of our father house. We go back to unresolved issues of our father house, dealing with familiar spirit. What are the familiar spirit? These are spirit that are attached to your family and know the handwritten ordinance of your family. They know what is written against you. They know what is written against you. We need practical steps to achieve practical deliverance. Amen? Amen. So let's go to the next. Family patterns and covenant. Let's look at this. Abraham's first son was Ishmael. And you remember, he didn't consider him like the, the one who need to inherit him. He chose the second one, that was Isaac. His son never made it to his birthright. So the first son never made it to his birthright. That was Abraham. Now let's go to the second one, Isaac. Same thing happened to him. The first son of Isaac was Esau. And he never made it to his birthright as well. One, two, already generation. Now we come to Joseph. Joseph also, when he brought his both son to Jacob. Michelle, can you read uh, Genesis 48, 16, 19? Let's look what happened. Amen. The angel who has redeemed me from all evil, bless the lads. Let my name be named upon them in the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. Now, when Joseph saw that his father had laid his right hand on the head of Ephraim, it displeased him. So he took hold of his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head to Manasseh's head. And Joseph said to his father, not so, my father, for this one is the firstborn. Put your right hand on his head. But his father refused and said, I know my son, I know. He also shall become a people and he also shall be great. But truly his younger brother shall be greater than he and his descendants shall become a multitude of nations. Amen. Amen. Jacob enforced what the familiar spirit, the one that removed the birthright from the first son, he enforced it. When he said, I know, I know, what did he know? Actually, he was forced to act that way because of what is in the family. 
what he knew, he was just repeating a way of the familiar spirit. That we rob the birthright of the first one, of the first son. We have to understand that when we have familiar spirit in the family, we find ourselves acting in a strange way. Strange because we don't even know why we are acting that way. But it's what was written. Familiar spirit are set up, uh, set, set up a pattern. They need to be dealt with. They need to be dealt with. Hallelujah. So familiar spirit and their manifestation. And this is just a short class, but you have people who go intensive on this class, on familiar spirit, because it's very important. Can you read Leviticus 19.31, Michelle? Amen. Give no regard to mediums and familiar spirits. Do not seek after them to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Amen. Amen. The law forbid to follow familiar spirit. Why? Because they make you impure. There's some familiar spirit that act like protection for family, but actually, as you accept that spirit, it makes your whole Christianity useless. The Lord warned the people of Israel, do not seek after them. The people who have visitation of their grandparent or father or mother, you love so much and she will come and give you advice and stuff like that. Those are familiar spirit. They come and they give you this and you have to do that. And you have, oh, when I did that, everything happened so well. My friend, you are dealing with the spirit of a dead person. What are the wizard and the diviner looking for? Familiar spirit. What happened? If someone, let's say Miss, Miss Thomas, I don't know, Miss, uh, let me choose any name. Miss, uh, I don't know, Jones, go to see a, a witch doctor or a medium or someone who can read the hand. As soon as you enter, what they do is they interrogate your, the, the spirit of the family. The person will receive information on you and she will give it to you. And you will think, oh, this is a powerful person. She knows, she knows. No, she's reading. She's communicating with the spirit of your family. They are the secretary of the family. They know everything that happened even before you. Even before you. What has happened in this family? What you need to know about this family? There are agents who give information on the family. You need to confront them and get rid of them because they can transform to something worse. I remember the Holy Spirit, it showed me, there was a lady who was uh, like a prophetess and she was a prophetess actually because she usually helped us in the church where I was before. But what happened, one day we pray for her and she has a very strange vision. She has a, a vision that kind of irritate us because she find herself taking a bath, but taking a bath in the blood of monkey, something like that. We said, what kind of vision is this? Let push you, let's start praying for her. So we stop what we were doing, we start praying for her. We pray, we pray because intercession has different level. You know, when you intercede, it's why I say, don't be in a rush. When you are rushing, actually you don't reach any level. You can intercede until you, find the, the, the person, the, the invader that is in the problem. You find the strange spirit and the spirit communicate with you, saying why is there? And revealing you how to, because when you know who is there, you know how to fight it. So we start praying, 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 and then we fell on the spirit. And the spirit starts saying, I'm in this family for 800 years. I didn't even know her family has who have 800 years. I am in this family for 800 years. I'm the one protecting them. What do you want from me? This was generation and generation before her. But that family was there. That familiar spirit was there. What do you want? But when she's giving prophecy and everything, did we know there was something behind? You understand? So you have to understand that sometimes those are hidden. 
they are hidden in the generation. And if they were not dealt with, if they were not uproot, they continue to be passed by the bloodline. And we need to fight them. Why? Because they can transform and be worse than before. In Genesis, you remember, we were fighting a snake. It's a snake that came to talk to Eve. Look at Revelation, what is fighting? A dragon. Because one was not dealt with. Sometimes the one who come after is worse than the one that is there. So we need to fight it before it become too complicated. You have family like that. When the problem start, the pattern was just a small thing. Before it come to the next generation, he has transformed. You have everything combined. You don't even know where you have to start. Will you start with the addiction or will you start with the problem of having children out of wedlock? Or will you start with uh, the problem of not having a career? Or will you start, because so many things has add up and complicate the life in such a way that you don't even know where is the pattern anymore. The enemy has just, he did everything to have chaos. Because your father have not confronted what was in the family before you, you must confront it. The unresolved issue of your family house. Can be father, can be mother. The spirit can make you to be useless. Although you are a Christian, it will frustrate you. I repeat it again. Some people come and they are tired. I'm tired. I went to this. I went to that. I understand you are tired. But it's not about you. It's about you having victory. It's not about your feeling. I feel this way. I feel that way. All of those are your feeling. You know, the, the delusion the enemy put in our life is thinking that we matter more than anything. It's why you have iPhone, I, iPad, I, because they think that you matter more than anything. They don't understand that God is sovereign. It's not really what is happening. It's about God first. Amen. So the spirit can make you to be useless. Although you are a Christian, it will frustrate you. You can heal many people. Sometimes if you are a minister of God, if you are a child of doing deliverance, doing a lot, you can do that for a lot of people. They will give their testimony, but you yourself, that cannot stop. That familiar spirit can use also many media. He's not working by himself. He can work with anger. He can work with lust. He can work with divorce. He can work with so many. So as soon as you want to do something, he release one. This is like a movie director. Bedra can tell us about. They never see movie director in front. They see his name on the at the end or sometime on the beginning. If you are not very conscious, you may not even know his name. But they have written a script and no one should change the script. That is the way they work. The script is written already. People of this family is so and so and so and so, and they stay quiet. So when you change the script, Dedra, when someone changed the script, what happened? Cut. This is not what is written. You need to go by what is written. It is the problem of familiar spirit. So when you try to change, they stop you. You have to confront them in order to get rid of them so your life can change. Amen? Amen. Stronghold and familiar spirit. Sorry, I have a phone that is acting up behind me. Sorry. Stronghold and familiar spirit is a group of spirit that will that have dwell in the family for a long time, the familiar spirit, and they know the weaknesses of this family. For some of it, I say already, it is anger. Some of it is his addiction. For some, it is loss and so forth. They will use those in order to continue the patterns in the family. They build stronghold in order to maintain their dominion. How is happening? 
they can build a stronghold, a way of thinking that is wrong. And the person never, never, never recognize the problem he has, so he does not get deliverance. You know, strongholds are not demon. Demon, you cast them out. They tremble, they go. Stronghold is a wrong way of thinking. If you think like, an example, if you think like you are not beautiful at all, that people are just saying things, but you will never be, you are not, you are not, that is a stronghold because your way of thinking recommend your choice. Your way of thinking recommend everything you do. Your way of thinking, even the men you choose could be depending of what you're thinking. Because you think I'm not beautiful, you give yourself to any cheap person because you think that anyway, I cannot have better. So your way of thinking you don't look for better things for you just because of your way of thinking. You see that it's not a demon. A demon will come, we cast it out, it go. But your way of thinking needs to be renewed in order to break the stronghold. So what familiar spirit will do, they will build a certain stronghold. This is why you will see some people who have a familiar spirit, but you cannot fight it. Because in their mind, they don't need anybody. In their mind, the way they are so high in their mind, and they think everybody is below them. They don't need anyone. So that pride is actually a stronghold. It's not a demon. Because that pride will not allow them, and is keeping the real demon that is inside, like covering him. So they build stronghold in order to maintain their dominion. How do you pull down the stronghold, I say? First, you need to recognize you need help. If you don't recognize you, don't, you, you need help, nobody can help you. The first thing is to recognize I need help, to look and say, yeah, I think I have a problem. I really need help. When you recognize that stronghold will be bent or will fall. Then the deliverance can start. Amen. So we have to know that it may not be a problem of demon, but it is a way of thinking that you will need to change. Amen. Whatever they are saying to you, especially when you have a special mindset, the mindset, you will protect the familiar spirit and it will continue to operate. Let's say you have a problem of sexual immorality. You always fall in sin. If you put in your mind that it's okay, I can be a Christian and have sexual immorality. That is a wrong, wrong, wrong. Because what is impure, God cannot look. And you cannot lie to yourself. If you lie to yourself, you yourself is a waste of time what you are doing. But you put in your mind that I can be a Christian, but at the same time, I can fornicate or I can do whatever. Until you recognize that you are wrong in your way of thinking, then the deliverance can manifest and stay. If you don't recognize it, it will not be. You will not be. So recognize you will break the stronghold. When you break the stronghold, then the deliverance can enter and happen. And you'll be free. Some of us are blaming everyone. Some, you will find them when you start talking to them, they will blame everybody, their mother, their father, they will blame their wife, they will blame their children, they will blame, they will blame, they will blame. It's all about blaming. It's the blaming game. But they don't understand that we need to face reality. You need to take responsibility. Then you start having deliverance. Hallelujah. It's very important. 
let's go to one of the examples we have in the Bible. Can you read Michelle, Judge 6, 11 to 15? Amen. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the oak terebinth at Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abizrite, and his son Gideon was beating wheat in the winepress to hide from the Midianite. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty men of fearless courage. And Gideon said to him, Oh, sir, if the Lord is with us, why is all this befallen us? And where are all his wondrous works of which our fathers told us, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and given us into the, head of, into the hand of Midian. The Lord turned to him and said, go in this your might and you shall save Israel from the hand of Midian. Have I not sent you? Gideon said to him, oh Lord, how can I deliver Israel? Behold, my clan is the poorest in Manasseh and I am the least in my father's house. Amen. Remember, who was Manasseh again? Do you remember? He was the first son of Joseph. Exactly. Was the first son of Joseph. Look at him. Because of what the daddy did. All of his generation after. There they are. Afraid of Midianite. Hiding. Because they will do plant and do all of this. In the time of harvest, Midianite come and eat everything. And they have to run and hide in caves. And Gideon find himself there. My clan is the poorest in Manasseh. I am the least of my father's house. Those are people of Israel. Those are people believing in the God of Israel. They are not non-Christian. They are the one. On that time, they were not using the term Christian. But they are following the God of Israel. Gideon saw the angel, but until he performed the instruction of the spirit, he was not delivered. That means you can have divine encounters. You can have angels. You can have vision. You can have the Lord walking with you. You see yourself walking on the beach and the Lord is next to you and you are talking to him and everything. All of this is good. The Lord is with you, but for you to be delivered, you have to follow the instruction of the spirit. When the spirit happened, uh, uh, came to him, when the angel of the Lord came to him, because the angel of the Lord is another uh, name for the Lord. When he appeared to him, he didn't say, Gideon, I'll deliver you. Now you don't need to do anything anymore. You go and the midnight beaten. No, he sent him. Go to your father's house. Go and do this. This is why I don't think that when, as soon as you have like divine encounters, that's it. No. You have some work to do. Follow what the spirit is telling you. Amen. You have to confront them. You have to confront the spirit dominating the family. You have to. It's a work you cannot go around. It's not because we like warfare. It's something you need to learn. It's very important. You cannot go around. Amen. Let's continue. Can you read uh, uh, Judge 6, 25 to 28? And it's the Amplified version. Go ahead. That night, the Lord said to Gideon, take your father's bull, the second bull, seven years old, and pull down the altar of Baal that your father has and cut down the Asherah, which is a symbol of the goddess Asherah that is beside it, and build an altar to the Lord your God on top of this stronghold with stones laid in proper order. Then take the second bull and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the Asherah, which you shall cut down. Amen. Instruction. Take your father bulls, second bulls, pull down the altar of Baal, cut down the Asherah poles. Is the goddess, is like the queen of heaven. He gave him 
exact instruction. It's not something that you do. When the spirit of God tell you to do something, it's exact instruction. Don't play with it. Go by what he said. This is the way of being free. These were the instructions given to Gideon. Even if Gideon saw the angel and had divine instruction, he must perform by destruction of his father's altar. He need to destroy that altar. Instruction may be different according to the case. This is why you cannot generalize. It's good that you can read the book of someone and apply it. That is good, but it doesn't happen like that every time. The case can be different. I remember once I was reading the book of Curse and Blessing of Derek Prince. I was in my way to see another, it was Benin was, um, Benin was having a, a convention and we were going there. I'm reading the book of Derek Prince in the car. I remember that book is very small, Curse and Blessing. But as I'm reading it, I'm having an open vision of the Lord showing me some stuff because someone came to visit uh, my family and he left some item in my house. And the problem is since he has left, the whole house was polluted. I start having rushes everywhere. I start having things I've never had in my house. And there was so much that I didn't know where they were coming from. And when I'm reading this book of curse and uh, blessing, the Lord opened my eyes and I start seeing what he has left in different rooms. The Lord was showing me that like I'm looking at it in the book. He said, this one is cursed. This one is cursed. This one is cursed. This is why those are attracted in your house. All of these pestilences attracted. You need to go back home and get rid of it. And I think we came back that day like at 11 p.m. Trust me, I cleaned the whole room of the guy. I went outside, pick up. The Holy Spirit was telling me, go left, go right, go and pick up here, go and pick up. I put everything in the bag. I called the blood and the fire of Jesus on it. I poured anointing oil and I went to trash it far away. Next day, no roaches, nothing. All of them has disappeared. Amazing. Amazing. Instruction of the Holy Spirit. You go by instruction. You cannot repeat the same for everyone. It's good that we do group, group things because we want to direct people. But trust me, each one of us, we have different instructions according to what you are suffering. Dedra, your instruction will be different from mine. Michelle, your instruction will be different from Caroline. Holy Spirit will reveal to you. But first, you need to seek what are the instructions? What is behind my condition? Accept the things that sometimes we don't like to accept. Because sometimes you think that because I have this uh, great, great experience of the Holy Spirit, I cannot be under this again. Ask the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ask the Holy Spirit. Ask him, Father, I want to go at the bottom of this problem. Why I'm still suffering of this? And don't be angry with anybody because everyone has his own case. Everyone know. I don't know what my grandfather did or my the one before me. I don't know, uh, Reverend D, what your great, great grandfather did. We don't know. So we are seeking to get answer. We don't get frustrated just because we don't get answer yet. This is not a commending thing. This is a mercy thing. We go asking for mercy, Father, mercy. We don't get frustrated because if you look at your life and what happened in your life, you can see the result of what the other have planted inside you first. So you don't get frustrated, but you ask for mercy. Have mercy on us, Father. Have mercy on us. Let the mercy come. Because when you take an attitude of being offended because you have to need down more, that means pride is acting. And you don't need that. Hallelujah. You don't need that. 
any one of us suffering from the frustration of familiar spirit in our family should consult the Holy Spirit in order to break the powers of the evil spirit. An altar could be requested to you as well. And I'm telling a story of a family, but it could be a different story for you. There was a man who did a covenant to receive great powers. And what he did, the covenant was that his progenitor, his children, we have no children. His children, we have no children. That was the pact he did. But he will have all the money he wanted. And he has nine children, nine. But none of his children has a child. They got married very well, but none of them had child, have children. So they start looking for deliverance everywhere. They knew something was wrong. Then they revealed to them that the only way, it was a pastor who revealed that to them, the only way they can get rid of that uh, curse was to build a church, a world church, and give it to any denomination. They didn't say, come and pray 30 days. They didn't say, go and fast 30 days or go in the mountain. No, build a church and give that church to someone else. So they built the church and gave the, the church to like a Methodist. He was the only people around who were struggling to have a, a, a house. When they gave, as soon as that thing was given, that altar they just built to God fought the older. In three months, the women were pregnant. So instruction of the Holy Spirit, they did not pray for them. They did not fast. They just need to do something. It's why we need to ask. We need to seek. Amen. Today, the Lord wants to confront the familiar spirit of your family. He will go and confront it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to next. Almost there. Amen. Before we go to prayer, I want to know if you have any question. Amen. By the grace of God, we can answer any question. Any question. Yes, I do have a question. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's about is it is it is there a real difference between a family between the familiar spirit and a familial spirit? What is familial spirit? There's no familial um, spirit. Because because since you were talking about in the family, I thought it was, I don't know. No, it's not I the thought it was connected. We call them familiar spirit. Okay. Mm -hmm. My question is, I think you probably answered this, but can animals be familiar spirit? Are they? I didn't hear you. Can animals be familiar spirit? Yeah. Something? Let me tell you about animals be familiar spirit. When they send that spirit to your house, it can enter, it can be a cat or a dog or something like that. What it will do, it will be monitoring you. And sometimes even they follow people. You have people everywhere they go, they sit. There's a certain bird will come or a certain animal will come. It's like monitoring spirit at the same time. So they use a lot of animals. Or you can see a snake. Every time you sleep, you see a snake and everything. That snake actually is related to a familiar spirit that is in the family. That means an altar is active. An altar is active. And that familiar spirit sometimes is a protection for that family. Protection in the wrong side, for sure. In the wrong side. I, I, I have a dream this night. <laughs> I just smile because God is my, 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 God is keeping me. I've, I saw myself in one of the house of my, one of my spiritual son in Cameroon. As soon as I landed, a snake came from nowhere and I, I saw him coming toward me, to bite me. But I look at him slowly, I took the, sorry, it's graphic, but I took his tail and I make him eat his tail in the name of Jesus. Then I took a knife and I start slicing him in small, small, small. Then I called the guy and I said, go tell your father, because I know it's his father doing that. Go tell your father, there's no joke with me. 
and I, I, I went off. So you have to understand that there's some people who have protection like that. As soon as you start praying for them or anything, those familiar spirit, the one protecting them, will start manifesting around you and they will try to attack you. Amen. Another question. There's no question. Don't tell me I teach so well. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Vera, no question? No, please. Rita, no question? Reverend, I have a question. What are some of the ways that um, the familial spirits can manifest? Like for you with your, in your experience with deliverance, how have you been able to, I mean, I know it's through the Holy Spirit, but how have you seen the manifestation of these spirits? Like, for example, can it make somebody tired? Like you just like, you know, I, I've been doing- can make so someone tired. It can make someone always tired. It can make someone uh, be useless. That means you mm -hmm. try everything, but nothing really come. It mm -hmm. can frustrate the person, can mm -hmm. frustrate the person. So it can also, um, it, it, it kind of bring the pattern of what is happening in the family. So when you look around, you can see that, hey, this is the same happening to so and so. Yes. So it, there's, there's so many things that can bring you to, no, I don't want it to happen to me too. So, and you have to start fighting it. You have to start fighting it. So it manifests in such a way that it frustrates you, but it's linked to your family. It's not like something like, uh, um, you know, someone sent to you, no is in the family, mm. is in the family. But he can also follow you, like if you go to a witch doctor and everything, coming out of their familiar spirit is behind you because you enter there willingly. So for them, you have an agreement with them. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. And mm. I know you spoke a little bit about uh, sexual immorality especially when it comes to, to strongholds, etc. But can these familiar spirits also like do that to a person? Like you find that even though, you know, you're trying very hard, but it's almost like it needs to feed itself as it were. Can that happen? You have the demon of sex. The demon of sex exists. But with the spiritual realm, you find yourself that you have to be part of it to accept it. I've seen people, like I have a girl who told me that from childhood, she has that impression of doing masturbation, okay? Mm -hmm. She told me it starts like at six or seven. She just started doing it. And she couldn't stop. She said she has tried everything. But when I was teaching on it, you know, sometimes I teach on sex, I teach on money. Those are my both subjects when I start everybody. So a lot of people will leave the forum because they don't like to be told what to do or not to do. And when I teach, I, I taught on it and I was telling them how he will, um, he will pollute you because you don't know that when you are doing masturbation, actually you are sleeping with a spirit. So you are having sex with the spirit. He's giving you all of this sensation. You think, oh, I'm by myself. Nobody is seeing you. But actually, you are putting more things inside you. And I finished I finish my class and everything. And I was doing fasting at that time. She cried to God. She said, I don't want this anymore. And she told me on that time, she was not even going to church because she was in Morocco or something like that. She has no church around her house. She said, Reverend, I'm telling you, I was in my living room by myself. But every morning when I wake up, I read what you have sent, like the lesson of the day. 
and I prayed the prayer. I was by myself and I've cried to God for two or three days already. She said, out of the sudden, she felt like vomiting. She ran in the bathroom. It happened by himself. Why? She has cried to God. And she said, totally delivered. Since then, she never felt any urge anymore. You have to be repentant. If you are still joking with the matter, Michelle, it's not about demon. It's about you agreeing with the system. You have to mm -hmm. agree. If you agree with it, you will not go. If you think, oh, it's fine, I can still come and repent. Because some people think that repent is just saying, Lord, I'm sorry. But in the part of your head, you just did what you like. You understand? Mm. It has to be a cry. If there's no cry, like I really repent, <laughs> you're playing with yourself. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, Olga actually sent a, a question, Reverend, in the chat. Why she's not reading? Olga, are you at work? <laughs> no. You told me, you me or what? Okay. Ahead, so I want to hear your voice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I asked two questions. I said, um, can tenants bring familiar spirits, like people who are renting out you know the basements etc and then i also asked if you were to see mice um found after someone leaves a home could that be a familiar spirit it could be for the second question but your first question i couldn't hear it very well you say um this the first question it was kind of similar to that to that one but it bas i basically asked can tenants like people bring in familiar spirits to your home yeah, they can bring familiar spirit to your home. It's okay. what I say that the person who visit me actually was a witch doctor because he, he say he's a pastor and I saw him preaching. I saw him preaching in the Presbyterian church. He told me he's controlling more than 30 church, mm -hmm. but he's actually a wizard and wizard use a lot of familiar spirit. People reading palm, they use familiar spirit. People reading the leaves, they use familiar spirit. All of the people doing occult and everything, they have familiar spirit. You can enter in the house, you feel like different things in the house. It does have familiar spirit. They know how to communicate with all of this. Okay? So, okay. yeah. Most of those people, they know. And the sign sometimes is they use pestilence. They use, you have mouse, you have uh, mice, you have, uh, I don't know, so many things can be little mm -hmm. animals that show you the sign that something is happening. Could be witchcraft happening too. But okay. wizard most of the time use familiar spirit. Okay, thank you. Okay, I, actually, I have one more question too. Mm -hmm. So if you like, um, if you go to someone's place that has like, that does all that stuff, but you don't know, could you bring back a familiar spirit back into your own home where it doesn't It depends like on that? the person. Okay. And what you are going to do there. You okay. understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It depends on the person. It's why you need discernment on who you agree with and who you, you understand. Yeah. So if you go to a house of anyone professing he can read the future or do whatever, his spirit can follow you. Okay. His spirit can follow you. And some people are in the, I remember once, and that one, I was like baffled. The man of God that I was seeing him on YouTube, but he was doing so many strange stuff, I couldn't understand. And once I just say, to, when I saw what he was doing, because he would dance, dance, dance. I know we can dance at church, but he would dance until he would climb on the shoulder of someone and do all crazy stuff. And sometimes his money is showing and things like that. And I say, Lord have mercy. Because you will find that the Lord doesn't need all of this, you know, show off too much. No, Holy Spirit is very gentle. He has nothing to do to, everything he wants to do is brag Jesus. The more you say Jesus, the more Holy Spirit comes. As soon as you put a man in front 
and Holy Spirit behind or Jesus behind, he's no more there. So he was doing that. And then I say, Lord, have mercy. Do you know that man appear in my dream? What he has is the way he did his covenant is he did like a protection on his name. So anyone who says something that could go against him, he will fight the person in the spirit. He came in my dream and in the dream, he tried to curse me. It was the first time I was seeing that. Like you speak something and you speak it to yourself. It's not that you talk to someone. You speak it to yourself. You go to sleep and the person come in your dream and the Holy Spirit say the way he did his covenant with darkness was that he protect his name. So anyone who tried to speak against him, he will appear and attack you. Those people have familiar spirit. How do you think he's healing? How do you think he's doing prophecy? How do you think he's doing all of that? And he end up falling. He end up falling because the Lord will look at you for a while and then smash you on the floor. That's it. Your story finished. God will help you. Amen. 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 I think there's no more question. Hallelujah. I have a question. Go ahead. Yeah, it's about the instructions. Uh, what when you gave the, the example of this family who went to build a church? Um, when God gives you an instruction like that, is it for everybody in your family, even those who don't pray? What they did, they came together because all of them want children. Okay. So all of the one believing came together and they built that church and they can see the result. All of them are having children now. Okay. Yeah. So you always gather the one who believe first. The other one will come after. But I remember when problems start having in my family, I talked to my sister who's not a believer. Trust me, she believed me more than everybody else because she knew that her own destiny was in danger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She ran to do it. When I say there's something we need to uproot and they, actually they cut the tree. It's a tree we, we need to uproot. They cut the tree, but they cut just the trunk. So the root was still on the, on the floor. And I said, no. It's not the way I say. We need to uproot the thing mm -hmm. and burn that place because it was an altar. So when mm -hmm. I told my sister, she cut just the trunk. I said, no, nobody was there. I called my sister, who's not a believer. She says she's not a believer. She tell mm -hmm. me every day, believe, but me, I'm not believing. Mm -hmm. When I explained to her what was going on and the altar, and it, she's the one who run to uproot it. She said, I will uproot it. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to suffer anymore. Amen. 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 <laughs> so if I have a question. Go ahead, Sheila. Um, so, well, it's not a question, but like, I just need clarity on this. So I was watching um, a man give like this motivational speech on YouTube. And then I wanted to, to do some more research. And I later found out that he was dead or he died from COVID. And so um, that night, I had a dream where he walked in and he had like IV and I just told him that, you know, God is going to heal you. And so like, after I said it, I had like this, um, this vision where he was in the ocean and like, I pulled his body out and then I realized that, oh, this man is really gone. Like he's dead. And so, um, that's when I texted someone to say that, you know, he's gone, but he's, he's still like, I felt sad that I had told him that he was going to be healed but he was actually dead. So I wanted to know if this was like a familiar spirit. Yes, mommy. Okay. Mm, there's a lot you have to, it's why internet is good, but internet actually is a prince of the air controlling. So you have to be careful, whatever you're pulling or whatever you are doing. There's a lot of people who told me, oh, I watched this video and this person, I find him in my dream doing, I say, you have to be careful. That channel need to be called clear out. You need to clear the air. You understand? And mm -hmm. you tell your spirit, you belong to God. You are not a sponge. So everything you see, you will just grab and bring. Mm -mm. You worship Jesus. That's it. And it's very important to control that channel. Very important to control that gate. 
because a lot of people now, even people uh, create soul tie, even with evangelists, you look at evangelists, I have a, a, a girl, she's in the French group. She started looking at this evangelist. And mm -hmm. then the guy out of sudden, I don't know what problem he has in his life. It's his second divorce. So now she starts seeing the guy in the dream and saying, I've divorced because of you, because you are my real wife. Can you imagine? So now every night she's sleeping, the guy is coming like husband of night. The guy, that is a prophet on internet, YouTube. And he's telling her that I have divorced just because of you, because you are the one who I have to marry. So now she creates a soul tie with him. When I met her and she started telling me, I look at her, I said, you say what? No, you have to stop that. First, stop looking at him, watching his video. That is number one. To renounce his spirit. Break that soul tie. We need to cast out the spirit of that man out of you. You understand? There's so many yeah. manipulation of the spirit. We need to be careful. Amen. Another question before we go to prayer. I actually had the same experience a few years ago, but I never even put it together. So I thank you for answering that question. I was watching a YouTube video of a guy who had passed away and he appeared in my dreams and and looked at me and put his hands on me and started speaking in tongues but i woke up and canceled everything but i didn't even know what it was i knew it wasn't right but you answered that question God, because i'm watching a lot of kenneth Hagin and kenneth Hagin, i don't know how old he is and i pray god i will not see him in my dream telling me anything in jesus name amen, amen. but amen. the anointing can pass but the rest mm -mm. Mm -mm. as soon as you it's kind of uh, soulish know that there's a transfer coming and you don't need that one amen Ma hello Ruth. go ahead yeah how are you <laughs> yeah i'm doing good Ruth. so anyone who is dead if if they're coming in dream and speaking to you it's like even if they're in heaven like with the lord um that's not right right okay let the dead uh. bury the dead so you you f and the thing is what you don't know, you can refuse it. A lot of people just accept it and say, oh, I saw my dad again. I saw my mom again. No, you tell the, the, the spirit, I don't want to see you anymore. I forbid mm -hmm. you. I seal that door with the blood. You will see you'll be at peace. Don't accept that. It's pollute, pollution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't Thank accept you. that. Mm -hmm. Even if it's anointing, God can give you a special anointing to yourself. You don't need anointing from a dead person or anything. What we don't know is God can anoint you in a different way. He can anoint you more than the old one. He can anoint you more than Catherine Coleman. He can anoint you more. Why you need the anointing of someone else? When he can give you yours. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it's very important. Sometimes we have religious way. Oh, I need the anointing of this person. I need a, no. God can give you yours. Don't try to get someone else, and he will come in your dream and start doing all of the craziness. Amen. Amen. Let's start covering ourselves with the blood. At the same time, we just ask for forgiveness if we have sin or to be forgiven. Let us, because I want us to enter warfare and then do deliverance. Father God, I thank you for your, your grace. I thank you for your anointing. I thank you for this session. Father, I pray, oh Lord, that you cover us with your blood. Cover your family with your blood. I cover my family here with the blood. I cover my sons, my children. Axel Ben Joel, blessed with the blood. I cover Carmen, uh, 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 
Eve, Jordan with the blood. Father, I cover my husband, myself with the blood. I cover my house with the blood. I cover my cars with the blood. Everything that belongs to me, I cover with the blood. I cover my brother and sister with the blood. Father, I thank you. I cover this room with the blood, the air with the blood. Father, I thank you. I want you to cover everything you have with the blood. Father, forgive us our sin. Everywhere, oh Lord, we have done things. We have mindset that will not change. Father, forgive us. Forgive us. We are crying to you, Father. We come in front of the throne of mercy as well. We say mercy on us and our family. Father, deliver our family. Deliver our family. We cry for the blood of Jesus to cover the sin so that we can get rid of the legal right of those familiar spirit. Father, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. Rabaras, kerebera, pras, kereberas. Papa, kerebero, pras, kereberas. Papa, papa, I want you to open your mic so I know because I don't want to be the one praying only. And after, if you want, it's very important. You are using Rabaras, anointing of Feel our house with your atmosphere of freedom. Feel our house with freedom. Our house with freedom. Feel our house with freedom. Jesus name we Amen. Let's start with number one. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Let's start with number one. You repeat after me. It's, it's written every serpent. Every, every, every serpent, serpent, every strange animal, every, every strange, strange animal. animal that is protecting my family, that is protecting my family, through ancestral covenant, through ancestral covenant, receive fire from heaven in the name of Jesus. Let's start praying. Receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. If it's a snake, you usually send the fire on the snake. Receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. Just in my I break out. I break out from the yoke of my father's house. From the yoke of my name of Jesus Christ, I break out from the yoke of my father. I break out from the name of the yoke of my father. I break out, 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 break out
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every witchcraft seed, every witchcraft seed that has polluted my foundation, that has polluted my foundation, my foundation, die by fire, die by fire, let go in tongues with that, let go in the spirit and understanding, in the name of every seed of pollution, die in witchcraft, die in the new testament, seed of pollution, 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 in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. For every power of my family, every power of my family, let me go. Let me go. Let my children go. Let my children, children go. I destroy your covenant before you. <laughs> by the blood of Jesus Christ. Can't destroy it. By the blood of Jesus Christ. By the blood, 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 by the blood. I destroy your covenant. By the blood, by the blood, by the blood. Destroy your covenant by the blood. I destroy it. I destroy it. I destroy it. I destroy your covenant by the blood. Family spirit of my father's house. Familiar spirit of my mother's house. Familiar spirit of my mother's house. And the word of God is the word of God. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifest. For this purpose, the Son of God manifest. To destroy the works of evil. To destroy the works of evil. Your work is destroyed in Jesus' name. Your work is destroyed in Jesus' name. Lose me in Jesus' name. Lose me, lose me in Jesus' name. Lose me in Jesus' name. All the familiar spirit, lose, 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 lose. Don't pass care of it, don't pass care of it. Don't my walk, don't my family, don't my finance. Get out, get out. Don't pass care of it, don't pass care of it. Don't pass care of it, don't pass care of it. Don't pass care of it, don't pass care of it. Don't pass care of it, don't pass care of it. Don't pass care of it, don't pass care of it. Don't pass care of it, don't pass care of it. Ma 
Number six, you will have to add the family name. So you repeat every guardian spirit from the family of Garden spirit, from the family of Nash. Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. I uproot you now with the blood of Jesus. I uproot you now with the blood of Jesus. Every garden spirit. I uproot every garden spirit. I uproot every Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus, covenant. Erase the oath, the path, the path against me, against, against me. All demons behind that covenant, all demons behind that covenant, the covenant in covenant. the name of Jesus Christ, that say, lose in the name of Jesus Christ, the covenant, the Amen. Amen. Now I will pray and you will brief him and brief out. Take some tissue. The only way I can do that if you open your video. I don't care about your hairdo, it cannot be worse than mine. Amen. You put your video on, it's the only way I can do this. Amen. Amen. And I'm doing that because I saw in the spirit today, I was slicing the, I don't know which familiar spirit was, I was slicing it slowly. It's why the Lord gave me permission to do this. He said, I want you to pray for each one. And any familiar spirit you meet, cast it out. Amen. Amen. So you take some tissue, you put, when you pray, don't look at the screen like, is, is the other one manifesting or is not the, no. Focus on Jesus on the cross. Focus on Jesus on the cross. It's you and Jesus. Today you say, I don't want to carry carry over. You know, carry over, someone leaves something and you carry over. I don't want any carry over. I belong to Jesus Christ. It's me and Jesus. Hallelujah. Angel of the Lord are out already doing deliverance. So if you are coughing, coughing your tissue or whatever. But the angel of the Lord are out and they are against those spirits that follow you. They are against the things that go with you everywhere you go. Hey, Amen. you belong Amen. to God. Though. You Amen. need to produce. You need to manifest. Hallelujah. Amen. Start breathing Amen. in and out. Focus on the cross. The blood of Jesus is doing it. The blood of Jesus is doing it. 
anything that has stopped you up to now just because of limitation. The blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your blood. The blood is pouring on the head. Pouring on the head. Pouring on the head of Michelle. Pouring on the head of anyone here in the group. Father, thank you for your blood. Hey, as she's breathing in and out, the blood of Jesus is entering in and out. It's entering through the mouth. It's entering through the nostril. It's becoming hot because the blood is still available. Thank you, Father, Father, for your blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. The blood on her head in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood on her head in the head. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, breathing and out. I command them now to manifest and go. Any familiar spirit, any spirit that protect the family, any spirit that come through divination, that came through divination or witchcraft around them, anything that came and that was thrown in the family and stick with the family, anything speaking through others and speaking the voice in the ear in the name of Jesus Christ, loose. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Start carry out. You get out in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out. Get out of there. I said the fire in the valley, the fire in the valley, the fire in the valley. 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 Manifest and you go. Manifest and you go. You cannot stay. You, oh, the spirit God. of her father's house, I send a fire, I send a fire, I send a fire, manifest and go. River and say, You, oh, the one calling her to the heart of her father, fire on you. Plead the blood, plead the blood. It's burning, it's burning. You cannot stay, you cannot stay, manifest and you go. You cannot stay everywhere you have implanted yourself in her hair, in her head, in her body, in part of her body, in her cell. Sucking her blood in the name of Jesus Christ, fire on you. Rabara pras, serebera pras, kereberosa. Breathing and breathe out, breathing and breathe out. It's becoming hot. It's becoming hot. I release the blood in the belly, the blood in the belly, the blood in the belly, the blood in the belly. Rabba pa 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 pa. I go under the belly, the blood. Under the belly, the blood. Under the belly, the blood. I take the umbilical cord. I put in the blood of Jesus Christ. And this me that enter to the umbilical cord. Loose. Papa, 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 papa. Briefing and brief out. Don't just stop. Briefing and brief out. It's coming out through the eyes. It's coming out through the heads. It's coming out through the mouth. The blood of Jesus. The blood inside you, the blood inside you, the blood inside you, the blood inside you. Rapa pa 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 pa. Rebera pras kerebera se, rabara pras kereberosa, papa kereberasa. Familiar spirit of witchcraft. Now get out. Any spirit following because of witchcraft. Get out. Get out. Get out. Briefing and briefer. Don't close your mouth. Briefing and briefer. Briefing and briefer. You will go back to whatever you are doing after. Briefing and brief out. This is a time of deliverance. Briefing and brief out. The blood inside. The blood inside. The blood is manifesting in the belly, in the umbilical cord. Come out. Come out. Nothing stay. Come out. Nothing stay. Hey, nothing say it's going under your belly, Vera. The blood is going under your belly in your private part. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Familias will you go. Familias will you go. Today is the day you leave her in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not manifest inside her anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel your assignment. I cancel your assignment. I cancel your assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. Briefing and brief her. Show briefing and brief her. Don't close your mouth. Re pa 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 pa. Re ba ra pa ro pa ro se. Pa pa se re ba ro sa. Briefing and brief her. She's getting out. She's getting out. Some of you are feeling that in the palm. Some are feeling in your legs. Re pa 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 pa. Come on. Re ba ra pa se re ba ro pa se re ba ra sa. Pa pa se re ba ro pa se re ba ra sa. Come out. Come out through the mouth. You cannot hide. Come out. Come out to the mouth. Come out to the mouth. Come out to the mouth. All of you. Ravaraske Reberosa. Papa, papa, papa. I start with spirit manifesting as snake. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. The same way I slice the snake hey. today is the same way I'm sliding you in the name of Jesus Christ. It's the same way I'm sliding you in the name of Jesus Christ. I slice you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any spirit manifesting as a snake in the back of the person or in the body of the person, I slice you today in the name of Jesus Christ. I send the the scarabee of brass and the sword of the law inside, and I break your tie in the name of Joshua. I break your tie in the name of Joshua. I break your tie. Brief in and brief out. Scarabee of brass, scarabee of brass, scarabee of brass. Pa 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 pa. Come on, all of you who have no video, I cannot pray on you. All of you will have no video, so I have to stop at the people who have video. Come on, come on, come on, any strange animals, strange animals, strange animals, maybe in the water, maybe in the air, maybe a bird following them in the name of Jesus. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. I set you on fire by the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You cannot survive. Fire on you. Fire on you. Fire on you. I go in the river. Strange animals of the river controlling the life of the children of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. I set you on fire in Jesus' name. You cannot stay inside the body. Come on. You, the one controlling the mind. Oh, the blood on the mind. On the mind. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. The one controlling the mind. The blood on 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 the mind. The one controlling the thought. The blood on the mind. The blood on the mind. The blood on the mind. I cancel your assignment. Familiar spirit of dead people now lose. Familiar spirit of dead people lose. Any familiar spirit of dead people start losing in the name of Jesus. Lose. Yes, you lose. You cannot stay. You cannot stay. You cannot stay. You cannot stay. Familiar spirit of dead people, you cannot stay. I uproot you in the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot you in the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pour the blood inside. I pour the blood inside. He is a living, 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 living God. He's a living God. Hey, Papa, 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 Papa. I pour the blood inside from head to toe. You cannot stay inside. Familiar spirit of dead people. I cancel your assignment. I cancel your assignment. The angel are dragging you out. Dragging you up, dragging you up, dragging you up. All of the dead people, all of the dead people that follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. From now on, pa, 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 the blood is against them. The blood is against them. The blood is against them. We silence them to the tomb. We silence them to the tomb. We silence them to the tomb in the name of Jesus Christ. We erase the name from the the reverence. We erase the name reverence from the book of the dead. We erase. We erase. We erase. We erase. We erase. We erase. Reverend Brasa, come out of them. Come out of them. Pa 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 pa. Reverend Brasa, Reverosa. Reverosa, Reverosa. Reverosa, pa 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 pa. Reka Reverosa, Reverosa. Reverosa, Reverosa, Reverosa. Reverosa. Don't pray. Just breathing and out. Just breathing and out. Rakorobrosa, Reverosa. You are breaking free today. Not another day. Father, we are slicing that demon. We are slicing the strange animal. We are slicing the serpent. Father, hey. in your name, papa, 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 they are breaking free in the name of Jesus Christ. They are breaking free in the name of Jesus Christ. They are breaking free in the name of Jesus Christ. Familiar spirit of family patterns. Yeah, papa, papa, papa. Hear the word of God now. It's time to release. Release the money. Release the family. Release the health. Release. Release in the name 
of Joshua. Get out of her blood. Get out in the name of Joshua. Get out of her blood. 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 You sucking demon. In the name of Jesus Christ, we send the sucking angel against you. We break your power. 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 You the sucking angel. Get out of the sucking demon. We send the sucking demon angel against you. We break your power. We break your power. We break your power. Get out of her. Get out of her. Get out of our let in the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot stay. You I command you to go. I command you to go. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you from your function. I revoke your power. Yeah. And you get out of her hair, on her head, upon the blood. Upon the blood. Upon the blood mixed with fire on the head. Mix with fire, mix with fire, mix with fire, mix with fire, mix with fire. Hey, Ramana Braske de Rosa, the body is becoming hot. The body is becoming hot. The body is becoming hot. The body is, you will explode if you stay there. I send the fire, 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 I send the fire in the name of Jesus Christ. You get out of Jennifer. Get out of there. Get out of there. She's not an abode for evil spirit. She belongs to God. Get out of there completely. The Lord is her shepherd. You cannot stay there. You cannot stay there. You cannot stay there. You cannot stay there. She's cleansed to as a vessel. You cannot stay. I remove her name from your book of dead people. My name is written in the book of living. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I plead the blood on Laverne. I plead the blood on Laverne. I plead the blood on Laverne. Briefing, brief out. Briefing, brief out. Briefing, brief out. Briefing, brief out. The blood of Jesus is cleansing. Briefing, brief out. Briefing, brief out. The blood on Jesse in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll break any spirit trying to tie her back. I'll break the power of the, whole, the spirit trying to tie her back. I'll break the power in the name of Joshua. I'll break the power in the name of Joshua. Spirit coming from her past. I'll break your power in the name of Joshua. Lose her. She belongs to Christ. She belongs to Christ. Anything tie her tongue in the name of Joshua. Lose. I plead the blood on the back of Ezekiel in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything in her back. Spirit of servitude, you go. Any spirit of slavery, you go. Slavery of the family, you go. I send the fire on her back. 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 You have to go. Fire. is burning. I increase the temperature of the body. Now, Karabaro Praske Reverasa. Reba Baba Baba Baba. Rebera Praske Rebero Praske Reverasa. Papa Kerebero Praske Reverosa. I'm breaking the name of Jesus Christ. Any yoke on the neck. Jesus is Lord. Ramaraske de Verosa. Ramara Praske de Verosa. Papa Aske de Verosa. Tarabaraske de Verosa. Papa Aske de Verosa. I release the angel. I release the angel. I release the angel. Any human spirit manifesting here. Any human spirit manifesting here. May you be dead or living. Any human spirit manifesting here in my screen now, the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. You will breathe in and out the blood. You will receive the blood. You will drink that blood. If you stay there, I will know. The law is our king and savior. He is the one cleansing us today. Human spirit now, receive the blood and you drink the blood. It's killing you. Is killing you. Drift in and out the blood. If there's any human spirit inside, he manifests and he goes. He manifests and he goes under the feet of Jesus. Human spirit, you go. Spirit of grandmother, spirit of mother, spirit of anyone who incarnate who tried to be inside your body now. Fire! Get out! Get out of there! Get out of there! I call you, Lord, for the family of Abanda. Any 
any human spirit, any wizard walking in the family of Abanda now, be seized. Rabaras kerebelo pras kereberosa. Papas kerebelo pras kereberosa. I'm sending the angel of the Lord to destroy, to destroy, to destroy, to destroy, to destroy, to destroy any covenant with the dead. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Get out of the body. Get out of the body. Get out of the marriage. Get out in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you are king. You are law. You are king. You are law. You are king. You are law. Get out of there. Papa, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. I send the fire in the belly, on the belly. I send the fire. I send the fire. I send the fire. I send the fire. Her belly is burning. Hey. Jesus is Lord. The Lord sit on the throne. The Lord sit on the throne. The Lord sit on the throne. Hey, fire in the belly. Fire in the belly. Fire in the belly. Fire in the belly. Fire in the underbelly. Fire in the belly. Any spirit that is claiming the belly. Any spirit claiming the belly of anyone here. Any spirit claiming the belly of anyone here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fire, fire, fire. Thank you, Father. I'm cleaning the blood now in your foundation. The blood 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 in the foundation. Breaking the family pattern. The blood in Ogo. Breaking the family pattern. Breaking any family pattern. Breaking any family pattern. We go up to the Garden of Eden. Breaking family pattern. The oh. blood go all the way. Erase the family pattern. Erase any spirit that is acting in the family. Erase any spirit. Papa's Kereberosa is burning, is burning, is burning. Rabba, papa, 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 Irebera Bras Kereberosa. Papa, papa, I put the fire inside the water. Fire inside the water. Fire inside the water. Any manifestation of the water now. Rabba, papa, 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 Irebera Bras Kereberosa. We destroy your yoke. We destroy your yoke. We destroy your yoke. Loser. Brief him, brief out. All over the body is burning. All over your body is burning. Any mark of the enemy on your body now is erased by the blood. Mark are erased. Any mark they recognize you with. Mark on your hair. Mark on your face. Mark on your breast. Mark on your belly. Mark on your Kerebera private part. Mark on your Kerebera say from head to toe. The mark I raise, the mark I raise, the mark I raise, the mark I raise, rapa pa 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 I trample your name, Rebera Pras Kereberosa Ogo Otuya in the blood. I trample your name. Anything that came with your name that attribute you a personality you are not. I separate you from it. 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 The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. I'm erasing on your face any mark of that spirit. Mita, receive the blood. Receive the blood, Mita. Receive the blood, Mita. Receive the blood, Mita. They cannot fight you. They cannot fight you. They cannot fight you. The blood of Jesus is burning them. The blood of Jesus is burning them. The blood of Jesus is burning them. Any spirit of death in your family that is tormenting you in the name of Jesus Christ. I send the fire. I send the fire. I send the fire. I destroy that cover in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy that cover in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy that cover in the name of Jesus Christ. The Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior of your life. We get let the fire burn. And this way that is disturb you. Let the fire burn. I say complete restitution. I say restoration. I say restoration. Loser. 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 All of you, loser. You cannot stay. You cannot stay. You cannot stay. I 
everything that you have tied. Release of a finance, release of a job, release of a marriage, release of a life, release of her, release of her. Turn around. Release peace. Briefing before they cannot stay. They will do like that and they will go. They cannot stay. The blood is against them. They cannot stay. They will not impress you. You will go free in the name of Jesus Christ. He has paid the price. He has paid the price. Rabba Ratere Rase, Papa Kerebosa, he has paid the price. Snake spirit will cut you in pieces. Snake spirit will cut you in pieces. Snake spirit will cut you in pieces. You cannot survive. Rabba Papa Papa Papa, Rebera Pras Kerebosa, Papa Kerebero Prasa. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is, I release the blood on Seoul in the name of Jesus Christ from head to toe. The blood. Hey, it's going back. It's going back to the archive of the family. It's going back. 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 Any claim on your life now destroyed. Any claim on your life. Hey, pa, 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 pa. Any claim of your life. You are not the wife of nobody in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel that in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel that in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel that in the name of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood on your body. Mm. The blood on you. The blood on you. The blood on you. The blood on you. On your private part, the blood. On your private part, the blood. The blood, 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 the blood. Rapa papa papa, reverence que reverence que reverence, papa que reverence. Any assignment of the spirit of failure is destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Is destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Is destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Rapa papa papa, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We shall receive the blood. Amen. <gasps> receive the blood yeah they have to go receive the blood briefing before michelle briefing 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 the law is his name the law mighty in power mighty in power mighty in power the law walk on the water Ah, he walk on the water. He destroyed the power of darkness. He destroyed the power. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. The blood, the blood, the blood. The blood on Sonali, the blood on Jennifer. Thank you, Father. They are going. We plead the blood. We release the blood on your back, Michelle. 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 Rabba Raporo Pros Kereberasa. We untie any yoke, any yoke, any yoke, any yoke, any yoke is untied. Any yoke is untied in the name of Jesus. Any yoke is untied. Any spirit of slavery is untied. Any spirit of slavery is untied. Any familiar spirit of servitude is untied. She will not serve you anymore. She served the Lord Jesus Christ. And the yoke of the law is light. Papa, 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 Jesus is Lord. He has conquered all principalities and power. And she is Kereberopla, Celebela, sitting with him in heavenly place, place above all of you. Reberasa, release, release, release. Loser. In the name of Jesus, loser. Thank you, Father, for your blood. Thank you for your blood. I speak peace in your body. Peace in your body. You uproot, you uproot, you uproot everything you have so inside her body. You uproot everything you put in her mind. Thank you, Father, for your peace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All of this prayer with the blood of Jesus. I want you to put your hands up. Hallelujah. I will pray. Hey, ha, hey, ha, ha, for a mighty presence of the Lord to cover you. 
and everywhere the spirit has left, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hey, hey. Jennifer, are you ready? Yes, Rev. Uh -huh. I will start with you. The angel of the Lord are already there. You feel a new wind. Hey, 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 hey. He said, where my spirit is, there's liberty. There's liberty. There's liberty. There's liberty. Jennifer, receive liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the spirit of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Be moved in the name of Jesus Christ. Rabarasa is turning over your situation. He's turning it around in the name of Jesus Christ. He's turning it around in the name of Jesus Christ. Start speaking in tongues. It's coming. 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 Rabara says, Sonali, start speaking in tongues. All of you, start speaking in tongues. Rapapa, Kereberosa is a refreshment. It's a time of refreshment. Michelle, you want to be filled? This is a time to be filled from your belly. Rivers, 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 rivers. Rapapapapa. It's coming, it's coming. Open your mouth, Ezekiel. Open your mouth, Ezekiel. Open your mouth, Ezekiel. Open your mouth, Reba Boko Lopa Lati Lassa. Papa, 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 Start speaking. Ah, let's start speaking. This is the time. This is the time. No one to see you crying anymore. That's speaking tongues. That's speaking tongues. Those were the last year you said. Speaking tongues, speaking tongues, speaking tongues, speaking tongues. Speaking tongues. Speaking tongues. Speaking tongues. Speak, 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 speak. He's coming. Calling for the rain. Then they're speaking tongues. Those are intellectual tongues. Papa, it's a new rain. Speaking tongues, speaking tongues, speaking tongues. Let's flow, let's flow, let's flow. Flow, let's flow. The fire, the fire, the fire. Oh no, let's flow, let's flow, let's flow. Let the fire invade you. Fire invade you. Let the fire invade you. Ah, let, let the fire invade you. Feel, be feel, be feel, be feel, be feel. Jennifer, be filled. Be filled. Be filled. Your eyes on fire. Your belly on fire. Your mouth on fire. Your body on fire. The fire on your head. The fire on your head. The fire on your head. Michelle, be filled. Be filled. Be filled. Be filled. Be filled. Be filled. Go, 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 go. Thank you, Father, for everything. For all of our prayer in the blood of Jesus. No retaliation in Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I leave you to your lover, to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If you want to speak in tongues up to eight o'clock in the morning, is your problem. Amen. <laughs> I have to go and rest with my family. Amen. So God bless you. God and bless you, Thank you. Amen. Thank, you. Amen. Thank you. We have offering. If you can give offering, it's fine. God bless you. I come, you are coming.
high You are more than these Lost for words Trying to describe you Elohim Elion Ale Shelewi The greatness is all I see There is nothing you cannot 